Hi, we've talked about the primary chords, the one, four, and five chords in any key, uh, and we discussed them in terms of the key of G, and we played the primary chords, the G, the C, and the D, because that's the one in the key of G, the four, one, two, three, four, C in the key of G, and one, two, three, four, five, D. Um, and those are very important chords. They're sort of the foundations of um, any chords of, of any key and the, and the chords in those key. So today, just want to introduce you to the sound of minor keys and ultimately what become the primary chords in the minor keys. It's still the one, four, and the five, but in a minor key, the five, we tend to play a seventh chord. So you notice in the blog it says a five, seven. Um, and I'm taking um, chords that are related to the key of G. Um, as a matter of fact, E minor and A minor, you would find them in the key of G. But if we start on E, that's called our, um, that's called our relative minor. And it's, uh, you can have primary chords in minor keys because those are the two, um, the two sounds we use in music. Things are either major and minor. And it's why, as I explained earlier, why we use Roman numerals because Roman numerals can, can be expressed uppercase, meaning major, and lowercase, uh, indicating minor. So in the key of E minor, we have the primary chord of E minor, which is the one. And then if you count up to four, one, two, three, four, you get A minor. And then count to five, one, two, three, four, five get this uh, B7 chord, which is the 5 chord. And when you play those three chords together, it gives you a dark, sort of moody quality, which is the contrast to major. It's like the opposite side of major. And this is what these three chords sound like together. Lots of great music is written in minor keys, and sometimes songs will start in a major key and go to a minor key, but it's a nice contrast when you want something that's a little bit more uh, dark and moody, especially as we get close to uh, Halloween. Um, it's a nice sound. And uh, so you should try these chords slowly. That B7 chord, which is, which is diagrammed on the blog, can be a bit tricky that pinky for the first time and that can take a while to get used to um, but once you get them going try your various strums your Latin strum or the rock strum your syncopated strum. You have those three strums. But certainly as you're learning the chords, just go for clarity and listen for those notes with just down strokes. And have fun with it.